Okay, just want to throw together a short video for everybody around the Python scripts, menu structure, and a few other things. I'm not doing a deep dive. I have a video when they first released 1.4 in beta 1 that goes over the Python environment, how to install the scripts, and how to navigate the menu and everything. This is kind of an addendum video, if you will. Beta 3 came out today, July 11th, and along with it, they've made some improvements in the Python script menu and a few other things related to it, so that's what this is about. If you're new to Cyril and you're just discovering the Python scripts and you need a deep dive, like I said, I have a video that I did a little while back. I'll leave it down in the description as well as link it up in the corner for you guys. Like I said, I just want to make a quick video to go over some of the changes that came with Beta 3. So let's get to it. My name is Rich and you're watching Deep Space Astro. All right, so the first and obvious thing to go over is the restructure of the scripts menu just for the Python scripts. You've probably noticed now that we have sub menus within the main Python scripts menu instead of all the Python scripts being listed directly under the main menu. So how do they determine which sub menu a specific Python script belongs in? You can see that if you come over to your burger menu and then get scripts, just like always, you put a tick mark over on the right hand side for the script that you want installed. But if you look at the category column, that's what they're using for those submenus. So our galaxy annotations will end up under utility. Statistical stretch will be under processing. And astronomy smart telescope script would be under pre-processing. So using NASA's script as an example, if we come up into scripts and Python scripts, pre-processing, there's our script. So I really like that they've started to organize this menu and break it out so it's a lot easier to get through, especially if you have all of the scripts installed. They have not done this with the serial script files menu item, maybe in the future, I'm kind of hoping, because I personally do have quite a few scripts that I've written just for my everyday type tasks. So my list can get pretty long. This is only a portion of what I have right now. Uh, so, like I said, uh, the submenus are only for the Python scripts. They are not for the serial script files. So the next thing that I wanted to show, and we'll go back over here into get scripts once again, just like always, if you have scripts that you've downloaded that were not in the repository, meaning they're not in this list, or maybe scripts that you've written just for your use, and they only exist on your hard drive, as always, specify the path to where those scripts exist on your hard drive, and then they would appear up in the menu for you. So we'll go over it with the new Python script submenus. If we go over into where I have my scripts, so my Deep Space Astro, just like I showed you guys right here, so I have that path specified. If I was to place a Python script in my Deep Space Astro folder, and I'm just going to use my star reduction script as an example, Obviously, you can download this from the repository, but just to show you how this works, what's going to happen is next time that I refresh or close and reopen Serial, it's going to scan this directory because, again, I have it specified here. It's going to see that there's a Python script within that directory, and it's going to use my Deep Space Astro folder name as a submenu item. So if we come over here and hit refresh and then apply, now if I come back into scripts and Python scripts, there's Deep Space Astro, and there's a script that I added to it. So I really like that, especially if you're using scripts that maybe you're developing just for yourself, or maybe scripts that are not in the repository, or scripts that you've downloaded from a third party. So a very useful feature. I am going to jump over here, and I'm going to remove that Python script. And let's go back over again into Git Scripts. And this was actually introduced in Beta 2. Um, and that is opening up any of these scripts from right from within this window. It used to be when you double clicked on it, it would just open it up in a viewer. But again, back in beta two, if you double click on any of these, it'll actually open it up in the built-in editor. So what this allows you to do is uh, save a copy of the script. So you don't have to go digging for it on your hard drive. So at this point, what I would do is make changes to the script to my liking for my own personal use. And then I would say file, save, and I would save it to one of the folders that I have specified in the scripts references. So like I was just showing you before, I would come over and save it in the serial scripts and my, again, my Deep Space Astro folder. Give it a new name, we'll just call this Galaxy. And just keep in mind when you're doing this, you probably want to save it as a different name. It's not going to overwrite the original, but you will, if I call this Galaxy Annotations, I would then see two Galaxy Annotation Python scripts within my menu although one will be in my Deep Space Astro. So we'll just call it galaxy.py, save it, close the editor, hit apply, and again, in our Python scripts under Deep Space Astro, 
there's the file that I just saved. The next thing that you can do, again, within Git scripts, is for example, let's say, and I'll use my script as an example, that I made a change to my script. I added a new feature or maybe fixed a bug that was discovered down the road. Those changes were merged in the repository. Therefore, they're pushed automatically to all of you that are running Cyril. And then you run it and maybe some other problem happens or something isn't working right. The previous version worked for you. Now this new version doesn't for whatever reason. What you can do, obviously, after after you report the problem, is you can actually roll this back to a previous version. So again, using mine as an example, I would just right click on the script and up here revisions to go back. It says leave at zero to get the current revision. So zero is what the default is. If I use the plus button, go to one and then two and then three, you can cycle through all the changes that have been made to the script. So you can go back to the previous release, click OK. It's going to open it up in the editor. Again, it's not going to replace the one that you have installed, but it gives you the opportunity to save the previous version. So again, I would say file, save, and save it into the path for my scripts that I have specified within Cyril. Give it a new name. We'll just call it starreduction.py. Hit save, close, apply. And then again, if I came back into scripts and Python scripts and Deep Space Astro, there's my star reduction script, the previous version, since I right clicked and I downloaded and saved it. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about is if you guys are having any issues running any of the Python scripts, or if you have any issues not being able to see any of the scripts in the Python menu, even after you've installed them from the Git scripts. Uh, once again, let's go back into Git scripts. If you scroll down right below our list of scripts, you'll see the reset Python virtual environment. Clicking this will do just that. It'll reset the entire Python environment. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Other times, if the scripts are still not appearing up in the scripts menu under Python scripts, I've had success where I've first gone in and deleted all the scripts that have been downloaded from the repository and then resetting that environment. So on Windows, if you just right click on your start button, and then click on run and then percent local app data percent and click OK. And this will take you right to your, your local app data for all your applications on your computer. Scroll down and you want to look for the folder that's named serial scripts and just delete that folder and its contents. And then, like I said, once you do that, come back in the Git scripts, scroll down to the bottom and then hit your reset Python virtual environment. Once that's done, that should resolve any script issues that you're having. All right, so as always, the software is just getting better and better with each new release. I'm sure you guys are just as excited about some of these things as I am. I'll try and keep you updated as much as I can as things are rolling out. Before you go, I want to say thanks to all my members here on YouTube and on buymeacoffee.com. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're not a member and you want to see your name scrolling at the end of most of the videos, you can do so for as little as a dollar a month. It helps support the channel and keeps it going. If not, that's fine as well. As always, I appreciate everybody's time. We'll see you on the next video in clear skies.